You have watched Kyrie's Ling, Albert or even Super Ken and you are motivated and confident to play Ling so you start a rank game hoping to carry in 1v5 MVP win but unfortunately you lose your game because the randoms have too much feed and you ask yourself why you are not strong enough to carry these trollers like a pro like Kyrie. Don't worry I'm here to help you progress until reach the pro level. Everyone can improve his gameplay and tell me in the end of the video if you've learned something. Your skills and even your win rate will increase thanks to this ultimate lane guide. This guide is divided into several parts so don't waste time. Here we go. First the emblems you can use with Ling. The assassin emblem which I recommend in solo, duo, trio Q. Let me explain. You will team up with randoms but you can't trust them to carry the team fight so you have to carry your team by solo killing enemies you can only count on yourself. That's why assassin emblem is better here. But in 5Q the level is higher so the playstyle is more centrate on objectives like pushing turrets, farm turtles lords. So you can use jungle emblem if you have enough damage dealers in your team. But personally I still prefer to carry by myself even in 5Q so I use mostly assassin emblem. To deal a lot of damage, getting the right build is the base. This is the build that every pro use now. But like every hero, it is more complicated than just buy items by default. You always have to adjust. For example if Saber and Eudora are your enemies, you must buy some physical and magical defense. So you should buy this cheap physical defense item to not get one-shotted against Saber and Magical Boot to reduce the control and try to survive against Eudora. A thing on Ling's build before you buy Berserk's Fury. Buy this item. It will give you enough attack speed which is very important with Ling because the energy is regenerated with each basic attack. Ling mechanics, Ling is one of the hardest hero to master mechanically. L2 tell you the important things you need to know to be seen as a pro by the players on your team, first the first skill. Mastering the first skill may seem easy when you watch the pros moving, but there are two difficulties you should know. You have to aim well to the wall, if you don't aim it strictly you won't be able to move and also there is a timing to master between each first skill. If you want to move smoothly you have absolutely to master the timing. The second skill, when you use it on the wall, you can be immune for a few milliseconds. So don't use your basic yeah. attack and use your second skill in team fight to immune the damage. Second point, this combo is the best to deal a lot of damage without ult. You will gain a basic attack after each second skill so in total you will deal 2 basic attacks damage in addition to the 2 second skills which can make the difference especially in late game. Don't do this. Third point, there will be some situations where you will have your blades placed like this after ult, so you can just quickly spam the second skill. Ling's ultimate, there are 2 combo you must master. The first is the normal try to aim your second skill the most at the left or the right of a blade and tap tap tap. The second combo need a little trick, just after you release the second skill while your ult, prepare your second second skill, and release it when the ult crash. Here too you must master the timing. And that's it we finished the mechanics. I didn't mention the 5 blades combo because this combo is useless in real game even if it is beautiful to see. Now you know how to build but you also have to master the best playstyle for Ling. And this is the it's hardest thing to learn because by saying playstyle, I mean the game vision, the rotation, how to farm fast, the right moment to join a fight, how you have to move in the fight especially with Ling. Yeah, I said especially with because Ling is unique. You know why is he considered one of the best junglers now? Because of his movement control very OP plus his invulnerability when he ults. And these qualities make Ling one of the most invincible hero. No other hero than Ling can escape this. Taken down from the on- Oh, wait a minute! Diversion! Oh, I'm too fine! Oh. What the heck? Time for the place has to be used! Kyrie's thinking oh. wait for now! Oh, even if it's poison running! So as Ling users, we must try to reach the full potential of Ling by using his qualities. I promise you that when you will master Ling, your score will be higher and the damage you deal will be higher too. With this gameplay I will try to show you the points I said before to master the best playstyle for Ling. Let's go! Start with the red to rotate until gank the gold lane, always do this trick. Let's play Naruto playlist music to be in the mood to always progress and learn and never give up like Naruto did. Don't go for the litho monster. One sword reflects one star. 
As we don't have the vision on the litho monster we don't know if Hayabusa used his retribution so we don't invade his blue buff. Fortune. Nice one Moskov. Too bad I didn't have my ult. Even if your HP are low, you must always analyze, faster no flash, we can kill her. Don't forget that Ling's mobility is his main quality. Leslie is in trouble, but we are too low HP we can't help her. Did you just forget? I said Ling main quality is his high mobility. Let's help her. High abuser want Leslie so bad, let's protect her. You're welcome Leslie. We came in time for the red. Never start a turtle like this Julian when all enemies are ready to contest. Let's just farm and not losing time, you must take your decisions as fast you can, so you will be able to farm faster. I can try to go for kill high abuser, but it is really worth it. Of course, it isn't worth it. I would just lost so much time of farming and even maybe die since I don't have blue, so please don't waste your time in useless fight. Now be very attentive and learn from what will follow. Watch, what can you say that is useful here? He used his ult? Okay cool, but the most important thing is that he doesn't have blue buff and red buff. So he will go for sure to his blue buff right now. And what can we do? We can go to his blue and steal it thanks to Ling's insane mobility. We also know that High Abuser used Retribution to get the turtle. I didn't pay attention to Farsa damages, but it doesn't matter, neither did she. High Abuser is dead, do you know what is in my mind now? Do you remember that Haya had not his blue, but even his red? Let's try to steal his red too. All Theses invades happens because of the insane mobility he has. This is the first mistake I made, I thought that Julian would come to combo them with me. I should play more safe, but it's okay we have to learn from our mistake. When you respawn I advise you to do first red buff and blue buff and then do something depending on the situation. Here a fight is going happen. Watch what only Ling can do. Let me show you the mobility control I said before in the guide. This little move seems nothing to you, but it make the difference in the following fight. Farsa no bird so she won't come. Don't be afraid by enemy roam and attack him when he is in out position. With this high mobility control, you can't stress against anyone. With this mobility, you can join the fight at any time. It's not because you are a fighter that I won't attack you Thamuz. Ling's moves are unique and insane, right? Hayabusa is mid so we can do turtle fast as I'm fed. I don't know why Leslie is against Thamuz but let's help her. Here I did a mistake. I didn't predict Farsa skills so my HP get lower for nothing I should ult earlier. The kill is taken, don't waste time and play fast to get the more feed possible. Nothing feels better than play. Leslie again in trouble, watch now the second skill combo I showed you before in the guide. Avoid it, or just undertake it. I don't even need my ult. It was my kill Leslie.
Hayabusa no dash. I kill whoever I want. May you solve. I didn't do four blades combo because if Farsa control me, I would be probably dead. I thought this blade would kill Hayabusa, my bad. I deserve. Farsa out position. Watch map Thamu's out position, it is insane how Ling can go anywhere on the map. I knew he got revenge so I shouldn't go in. Just wait revenge disappears. Hayabusa is top so free lord. Watch how I can invade without stress thanks to the movement control I have, it is impossible to die with Ling. What the fuck? How Kufra is here? Let's watch again. Conceal power. Nice one Kufra. It was impossible to predict it. Useless Lord Sorry team. Red, blue. It's another word for space. Watch attentively how I hid in the bush and until when I stay hidden. Just wait the damage dealers come and focus them. In late game the most important thing is to always watch map and analyze if you have something to do. Here Moskov is at top, he went in the bush. I skipped some useless minutes of game. And like this we ended the game. Leslie is now too much fed thanks to my help in the game. That's a lot of damage! A lot of damage. What I deserve. An enemy has been slain. Double kill. If you enjoyed the guide, subscribe and comment Ninja Snake, and tell me if you learned something with this guide. See you next time. Blow is more. Killing.